Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, July 24th. Uh, well, it's not morning for me. I'm on the East Coast today, so it is afternoon, just afternoon. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, it is uh, our July 24th edition of our KubeCon contributors, our Kubernetes Contributor Summit planning meeting. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this meeting is governed by the CNCF Code of Conduct. Please be nice to each other. Um, and we'll get started with lead updates. Um, I am going to put Josh on the spot a little bit. I apologize. Do we have any updates about art uh, for um, the t-shirts? Um, I don't think we do. Let me go ahead and check. Okay. Um, and one thing that we did for uh, DevOps Days Austin uh, is hired a local artist to make art for us. And uh, it's a lot of legwork, <laughs> but it's I feel like it's worth it. Like, um, and I also feel like, you know, we are bringing a bunch of tech resources to an area and we should we should support local artists if we could. So I like to put forth that we work on that uh if that is something that you all are into okay yeah we didn't have anybody else step forward i have a design idea myself it's kind of boring but but would work um okay. the um i i'd be happy to support a local artist if we have a budget for it we'd need to talk to the cncs about that yeah yeah and i'm sure that we will find the budget yeah. for it like that, uh, that yeah i just i want to know how much money like i because i know i know a bunch of comic artists and stuff yeah. um probably one or two of them is in chicago so you know i'd be happy to put out a call yeah um, plus we can talk to you know our community members who live in chicago of but course. i think we want to know how much money we can spend on this first sounds good sounds good uh, uh is everyone cool with the idea first first of all <laughs> okay yeah. cool lots of thumbs up all right yeah. affirmatives all right cool plus ones yeah. amazing amazing i mean oh yeah so the fallback is me doing it in which case what i'm going to do is are people familiar with the Ch chicago flag yeah 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 the stars i'll, yeah. I'll do the chicago flag with with the Kubernetes logo in place of stars um and yeah. and that'll work you know for some various pieces of swag um yeah the, um and and is within my design skills so <laughs> i you know i want to do something blues brothers themed but but i'm just not that good of a drawing <laughs> artist so the, yeah uh, yeah i i understand i'm i'm pretty awful uh at uh visual art uh laura has a great idea we can ask the devops state chicago folks if they have a local artist they use um, yeah i'm more than happy to reach out to them and just say because like i mean they're in the middle of prepping but sure if we can sure, sure. when do we need it by just out of curiosity i mean lead time to to mm -hmm. the conference so we have shirts available maybe like uh beginning of october i would say four weeks to okay so we have a year. we have a little bit of time i'll ask them at chicago because they're losing their minds right now <laughs> their event is in like two weeks so okay, i would wait and ask them at the event because then i can get some direct names if that's okay which is in two weeks yeah that's okay i don't know if we can put it in the if not i can do it right long. now yeah. okay i'll do it right now that's fine i'll just send them a quick message on on their okay. channel and just see if they have any any uh names they already have because probably the person who's doing the swag is already done so they might actually have some time great so i'll reach out and i will let you know what i find thanks so much I'm just updating those about potential. Okay. Um, one other thing that we might want to decide if we're reaching out to an external, potentially hiring an external artist, is in fact what kind of swag we have. Because if we're like oh, a, yeah. a community member, you know, I'm happy to throw it out there and say, "Hey, I'm going to come up with a design, and please tell us what this design should go on." Um, right. The. Right. Um, if we're hiring somebody, we probably need to decide what actual item we're going to have. Yeah, that's the, super fair. And yeah. my my understanding, I guess, was that this was 
for like t-shirts that we were doing for everybody and then like we'd have like special swag for staff but correct yeah. me if i'm wrong like what who did like yeah so like at, at uh amsterdam we had the hoodies that went out to everybody right and then we had the hats that went out to staff yeah um what was it for detroit i heard something about hockey jerseys i think yep. yeah yeah the the hockey jerseys were produced by um uh, bob and Jeffy. The, yeah um, so who did yeah, they go i'm just asking where they like where they went oh to to get those produced you don't no, have to ask them no no the staff or everybody staff the hockey jerseys were strictly staff understood understood okay and then did was there something for everybody in detroit yes yeah there was also a detroit t-shirt also detroit t-shirt okay so what i'm thinking right is that the local artists to be simple make things simple is that it would go on a t-shirt for everyone okay. to to have and wear yeah and then the apron that will idea that we're chasing down will probably okay. have something different on it okay well if we have we have an artist for a t-shirt i'll come up with some ideas for a staff item all right cool 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 cool, cool. well yeah we'll uh hear back from laura and i will put some feelers out as well to the artist community that i know out there and see what we come up with all right um great uh, Brian is not here for a CNCF update, so I'm going to pass it over to Kaylin for content. I uh, reached out to Shadows. We have a DM going and gave them a little bit of a idea of what the expectations will be going forward. And for now, we're just uh, laying in wait for enough details to be able to do our part. Uh, awesome. What does enough details look like to you? Can we um, codify that a little bit? Uh, I think the biggest thing is before we do the CFP, we want to know the venue details so we know um, roughly how many of each talk. That's not like strictly necessary. Really, okay. that's only necessary for the um, like going through the CFP. We can release the CFP as soon as folks are are ready for that. It seems probably after registration or like in line with registration would be good. Yeah. Or before, I guess that's usually how it goes with other events, right? It's before the yeah i'm wondering if there's any sort of like uh time gate based on when uh notifications for kubecon go out for speakers or not mm, yeah i don't know if we want to do it uh, it goes when do they come out i have no Soon, idea. no like four days is it july 28th maybe that's a different conference i signed up for uh maybe it's august i think for kubecon last time we were super late like we had like a two-week window for cfp so it'd be better to be bigger because we didn't get that many submissions Agreed. um yeah so i'm i'm happy to do it whenever maybe when are we thinking of opening registration uh mars it's like uh, one thing i th i find like annoying <laughs> as a no idea. Uh, traveler like uh I always find I would like to know if I've been accepted for a speaker before registration or of like course, have an idea of course of course which KubeCon does not do so you miss out on early bird and then if your talk <laughs> gets rejected you have to pay more um I don't know if yeah. that's as relevant because most people are already going but yeah we can do the CFP whenever folks think that that makes sense and I can right. sync up with comms and see what they're yeah. like communication schedule looks like it might be worthwhile doing it sooner since it's just creating a form I think uh maybe we have to touch base with Brian for the form but we could do it yeah. like next week to get people like drummed up and thinking yeah. about contributor yeah. summit let I, me oh go ahead Josh yeah I was gonna say uh that actually sounds like a great idea to me like if we were like when do you get back from your conference Nigel uh Friday yeah okay so if we were able to get a save the date page up on on the contributor site um by next week together with you know a cfp for sessions and and we'll just leave the cfp for sessions open for a long time it doesn't hurt us at all we can look at it at any time right the um it doesn't because we don't have to wait until registration opens to open that up 
No, and then it could also inform like how we want the room set up. Like if we know yeah. what kind of submissions we have before, we can make better decisions about how to use the venue space. Um. Okay. I do like that. Like I like there's not really a huge risk of doing it too early, except that, you know, people might commit, you know, and then have to pull out. But that's the thing that will happen every time. And I think that if we are able to get a fair amount of submissions ahead of time, um, and then like as we firm up the venue information, you know, sort of start to place people, I think the hard part would be like when the notifications go out. Um, and so I, I think that that being clear, like when when the CFP opens would be great. And so, yeah, we have to sort that bit out. Um, but I like I like what you're saying. I like having it open early. I think that's great. Um, and yeah, getting a save the date page up is awesome. And uh, we can circle back to that when we get down uh, to Reg, because I think there's been some progress on that point on that front, um, judging by a GitHub notification that I got. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, blockers. OK, um, Avinesh, uh, you want to chat? Actually, does anybody have any questions for content before we before we move on? No? All right, cool. Uh, Avinash, yeah, you're up. Yeah, uh, so uh, I had uh, initial talks with the shadows slash volunteers. Uh, it looks like there's somebody else as well who is interested, so I'll have talk with him uh, after the meet. And uh, we have, we've started with uh, drafting the emails that are supposed to go, uh, but th those are totally based on what we sent it previously. So, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, I would need some more context or, and also for those as well, I, I would need timeline because I'm not very much sure about what time, what at what time those meals should be going. Uh, mainly what I've seen is uh, th th there's this uh, announcement that goes first and then Reg and uh, CFPs and all those comes in at end. But uh, I'm I don't currently have those timelines. So yeah, this is okay. something that I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering if we can look at uh, the Google group to look at like when the emails went out last time, or if you're able to connect with the emeritus folks and get some rough ideas of how far out um, this uh, information, if this information isn't in um, the playbook, then that's something that we need to update for next time to, to say, all right, at about you know, eight weeks out, whatever, whatever, um, so that, you know, we're, uh, we don't have you in the dark about this. So your blockers are around when things are happening, what the timeline is for these emails to go out. Am I understanding that? Yep. Okay. Got it. Great. So we'll, uh, let's work on that. See if you can connect with your emeritus folks. Um, and once you have an idea, if you could uh, open a PR against the playbook to add this information in there, that would be awesome. Um, and then uh, with respect to the save the date email, sounds like maybe that's going to go out next week and we can have some information in there about the CFP and as well to inform the folks that, hey, if they want to help out planning um, Contributor Summit, that we could use the help. I think we have a lot of enthusiasm um, from folks that are newer to the organization and perhaps don't have org membership yet. Um, and like part of the problem um, that we need to solve about taking a lot of these folks on is make sure that we have adequate like mentorship. And so having something in there for some org members to be able to help us out so that we can, you know, accept more of these uh, enthusiastic folks, that would be great. Um, I digressed. <laughs> uh, is Natish here for the celebration? No. Um, okay. Um, all right, there's uh, Josh has added a note here. Social handbook is two thirds done. We'll post a work in progress soon. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, for ops, Natalie. Yeah, hi, everyone. I'm a bit sick, so my um, update will be short. Um, we have enough shadows for day of ops now. I haven't been able to connect with them, folks, because um, I was traveling last week and I'm sick now. 
<coughs> pardon me. Um, and um, I want to let everyone know, I'm just going to copy it into the um, chat here, but the org membership details have been clarified that I think it's worthwhile us sharing with the community because um, um, a good amount of draft PRs are okay as an acceptance in terms of showing consistency and like um, purposeful work, which I know that some folks might be, especially on the localization and translation stuff that we do in SIGDOCs um, is something that we consider. So um, I just wanted to get folks kind of sharing those uh, org requirements because they were recently updated, Priyanka and the SIG contributor, because folks did really great work there. <clears throat> um, and um, with the Ops Handbook, um, big thanks to Noah and Josh and folks for kind of putting that up and um, getting that merged. I have a draft PR um, that I'm working on to just fix a bunch of grammatical things pedantically because I'm a pedant. And um, <clears throat> once, they're, once they're fixed and done, um, I'll hopefully be able to meet with the current shadows that we have and volunteers. Um, yeah, I need to cough a lot, so I'm going to stop talking. Um, one of the things about that guide is the only the only job that Noah really covers is room monitor, which does require a bunch of people, but there are actually other ops jobs, and and it was actually because we didn't have a regular contributor summit for several years. Um, people forgot about those jobs and we actually had to improvise staffing them um, at the last one. So, so we still need to build out that guide much. So just understand that there's going to be other jobs like um, door warden um, that you'll, you'll want to staff um, yeah, that aren't yeah. in that guide yet. I actually um, am planning on meeting with Fiddity Core very soon from, mm -hmm. from, Ambassador, from the Amsterdam Summit. Um, because he had some ideas for the um, for the handbook that he said he wanted to put in, but um, I think mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he knows that it's published or up yet, and that those um, could be possibly yeah. you know, put in. So um, yeah, I plan to do that given <clears throat> given day of ops. Kind of, we've got a bit of time. Uh, we don't need to prepare as kind of quickly as many other areas. Um, yeah. uh, just kind of giving us that time. The other thing too is. Um, uh, Oh, the one thing that I was going to mention is out of my head, but basically um, uh, I plan to just kind of use the SIGs to get a lot more um, volunteers um, signed up and um, so that an understanding if they're going to be there for the walkthrough at the venue, which is usually the day before, um, that's going to be something that I think I will need the majority of folks <clears throat> on the ground to be available for um, if I need to do like a, <clears throat> a redo of, for those who aren't there, that's fine. But little things like that, I'd like to add to the handbook as like a prerequisites and so on. Yeah, um, that sounds good. Uh, looking forward to seeing what happens uh, with uh, post the meetings and getting the handbook, the playbook together. That sounds awesome. Uh, Rajesh, you've got your hand up. Uh, yes, Nigel. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, giving opportunity. So basically, I uh, uh, also uh, 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 part of the day of ops uh, during the Amsterdam uh, 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 contributor summit. I volunteered for the uh, day of ops. So uh, I would love to uh, be uh, uh, be part of the day of ops as, as a volunteer this time as well. So I've uh, yeah, been reached out to. Uh, narrowly uh already so uh for being a shadow but uh because of the org member so i am just working on it but uh i would continue uh being as a volunteer uh until i become the org member yeah so just to mention that here yeah awesome uh thanks for letting us know um as as roles come up as things are available tasks come up to do we will uh keep that in mind and um yeah have you coordinate with the leaders of the area to see if we uh, see if we got something for you? Yeah, um, but I, until then I can uh, well, uh, apply as a volunteer for the DevOps. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Um, does anyone else have anything here for a day of ops? No. Uh, well, Natalie, we hope you uh, feel better soon. Um, passing it on to Reg Mars. Uh, yes, I don't have much, many updates yet. Uh, I did create a draft for the new KCNS uh, website. Uh, we still 
have a lot of there's a lot of questions there basically we need a link for cfp link for registrations um basically the dates when we will have the cfp closed or open that, those kind of stuff but the draft is there uh well let me share the link i don't know if anyone wants to have a little bit of review uh, there are some good comments there already from uh, bob and other folks um Apart from that, I think we will open registration in a week or two or three. I don't know. Uh, we will see and we will start working on that. Okay. Reg will open in one to three weeks. Hopefully. I don't know. I've, fingers crossed. Sooner is better, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay. Let me just uh, paste the PR in. Did you. Um... Uh, okay. I'll link the PR in the notes later Perfect. all right Thank you. um great uh sig meet and greet laura all right um so i didn't get a chance to check in with brianne yet about uh time and date for when the meet and greet is going to happen uh that's the big thing i need to know before i can open up the issue and start recruiting the uh sig people for meet and greet so um i'm gonna wait until brianne gets here it's not critical to start it now because to be honest with you it's actually better to do it a little bit closer to the event just because people haven't confirmed their attendance yet so i'm not really in a rush i'm just noting that that's kind of what i'm waiting on right now i also have to confirm pin numbers uh so i don't know where if we've started the sheet yet officially uh that has all the tracking information like we did for eu um but i'll, I'll check in with brianne when i get that uh when I get that information to make sure we have enough pins because we didn't get a chance to order like six security last year. Um, so that's that piece. I uh, touched base for a little while with Kaslin and Chris, my shadows, um, just to kind of start the conversation about what needs to get done. Uh, we kind of clarified what we're gonna do and how we're gonna get everything done um, and made sure that we walked through the playbook and everything. So I think we're pretty much on the same page now. Uh, the one other thing we need to do is just figure out a new name and how we're going to market this a little bit better so that it's a little more obvious what we're going to trying to do. Uh, and so we're kind of in like a brainstorming mode right now. We had the um, contributor brown bag lunch as one option uh, that was from last year's retro. Uh, another one was um, somebody was saying, well, what about just meet, meet the SIGs, which is another option. Uh, but if anybody has any ideas, if you can just drop them into the Slack channel, we're just kind of slowly getting some momentum going with that. But no major updates. It's kind of just a little bit of back burner because we don't typically really start until about a month out in terms of like actually pushing it out there. Like what SIGs will be here and all that stuff. It's right now just ideation. So, all right. Uh, that sounds great. So your blockers are around figuring out some uh, like just, time, date and time. And, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the venue. Um, okay. And yeah. I, th I think they just finished getting some of the venue stuff organized according to the yeah. messages I saw last week. So again, I'm not in any major rush. I just want to make sure we're on the, the awareness docket. Uh, yeah. for making sure that we get our space and get, get all that confirmed so we can start reaching out to people and get Absolutely. people on that. It yep. looks like there's some um, notes here for, for potential name. Oh, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, I was going to say, we definitely need to brainstorm a new name because yes. mm -hmm. it, it needs to be a name that exists, works for both existing contributors and for potential new contributors, which makes it very difficult. Yeah, we, we talked about that brown bag lunch thing. Um, I feel like that does kind of make it specifically for contributors. Um, the meet the SIG problem is that a lot of people don't know what SIGs are. If they're looking to contribute, it's a kind of a confusing acronym um, if they're brand new to the organization. So uh, there were a couple of different thought processes around that. So just and anything anybody can think of, like we obviously didn't come up with something that sunk in right away. So the more ideas, the better. Um, the other thing is I'm putting it on the one second, Roger. I'm just I'm putting it on the um, the Contrabex, uh keynote. I, I already have asked to get a slot for that for, for from Chris. 
And we're hoping also to find other ways to market it too. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Go ahead, Roger. How about not using the acronym or, or explaining the acronym? I thought about it. I, I still don't know, like, because if you say meet the Kubernetes special interest groups, it still doesn't quite ring. Like you want the title to be something that someone wants to click into and read about when it yeah. comes to this big of a, an agenda. Um, Cause like we're basically fighting against talks for this, which is not great. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, anything, anything like just drop it. Thoughts, brainstorming, let's do this. Yeah. So there's uh, some notes in the in the doc. Sorry, I'm only there. on one screen, so I'm like no, it's fine. Uh, this is more uh, for other folks. If they have ideas, uh, feel free to drop them in. So, so far, we have meet yeah. the six Kubernetes contributor yeah. orientation, and then Kubernetes six yeah. slash contributor brown bag. So the the contributor orientation, the the concern with that is that this also is for like contributors to come talk to a SIG that they're having trouble getting a PR through. So it's a little all over the place. Maybe we need to like streamline down what this is. That's also a consideration of like, yeah. should it really be all these things or should it only be one thing? I don't know. Uh, yeah. So yeah. And a Just, contributor orientation feels more like a repo walkthrough or something like that. It's like, oh, yeah. so like you're like, I feel like yeah. the, that name might not but yeah, I, I don't want to go through all the names right now. Um, fair, 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 fair. Uh, I, I almost like, would it be helpful if we had like a sticky board and we just started dropping stickies on it and people can dot vote? I think so. Do you yeah. all like that? Yeah. All right. I'll make a sticky board. Um, I, I can do that and, and share it with everybody and we can start voting on names. Awesome. That's it for me though. All right. Um, anything else for SIG meet and greet? Hearts and minds clear. Yeah. Um, right. uh, oh. One one thing I'll say, it's real early for this, but one thing I'll say is um, one thing to keep in mind for about September is that um, we definitely didn't have pins for some SIGs and or teams. And, yeah. Um, and some of the signs were obliterated. Um, the um, so we'll need to remember to ask um, Brianna for those. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Was that I need to yeah. get that list to know what is currently available. Um, mm -hmm. We have the list from EU that I remade, uh, and I went through like we didn't have six security because um, they're a newer SIG, uh, and I added that to the playbook when when you published it. Um, I have that list, but we didn't get a chance to get it into her hands to order anything okay. before you. So my plan is to work off that list. Um, the other thing is we were we were talking about making sure people could take the pins with them if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. And then there was a discussion about, well, do we give the pins out early, but then people will forget about them. And it gets really, really messy because people just want swag. So yeah. um, I don't know. I so, wasn't yeah, aware just, just some we... things to consider. Yeah, you can apparently take the pens with you. We didn't quite um, know that. <clears throat> You're not I actually quite have. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I actually um, just had an idea that I want to suggest yeah. with, with Mars that would both help with the meet and greet and would help with content planning for the contributor summit. Um, do you think we could get a question added to registration where people list what SIGs and teams they're on? Sure. Yes, we can. Because, be because then both for SIG meetings and for SIG meet and greet, we would know who's there and could in fact ping them directly. Say, hey, we see your participation in SIG network. Can you staff SIG meet and greet? We can do that. Yeah. I mean, it'll have to be a free form because otherwise it's a million checkboxes. So I'll, I'll do some text munging to try to straighten it out into something we can search on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Folks have for meet and greet. All right, great. I was not aware that you're not allowed to take the pens because I definitely. Well, no, people have been taking them, so I guess we're allowed to. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, like, but it, but it wasn't it wasn't quite clear because it sounded like people were supposed to take the pins off and put them back in the bag, but no, apparently we're allowed to take them. 
Yeah. But in which case, like, we don't want to just put them out for people to get during contributor summit, because then typically people take swag and they might not be on that SIG. They just want the cool swag. You know, like there's that argument, but also the the pins don't get given out until like the very, very end of the conference because meet and greet is always all over the place. So some people might like to have it early. Who knows? Um, So just some things to think about. We're trying to figure that out. Is that I mean, an item? I'd, that I'd we rather should... have everybody have buttons that they yeah. are wearing the whole week so that like yeah. it's like, oh hey, look, I'm really part nope. of the community and you can ask me questions and I can tell you Got about it. SIG meet and greet is at this date. Come on, come join us if they yeah. see the pin. People you will know, ask questions. We've done that before and I don't see any reason not to do that. Those buttons cost like 35 cents a piece. I figured they were um, cheap. Yeah. So they're not so like, let's they're not just like bulk up on buttons. Or something. Right, let's just bulk up and button so we have enough if people grab them at the Contributor Summit and then lose them. Can we do like a ribbon or, you know, like the stick on ribbons that they have? The ribbons, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would That seems like a more natural, like there's one for ambassador that you put on so people know not only when you... There's there's a contributor one. There's like a Kubernetes contributor flag. It'd just be cool to have a specifier. Yeah. yeah, like and what then SIG maybe? Can get okay. them. Yeah. And you can be like, hey, I see you're wearing a SIG security band, but I've never seen you in the meeting. Are you interested? Like it benefits on both sides. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. there's an upside to having them at the Contributor Summit themselves. Um, and so like, I don't know if like, yeah, like on the ribbon wall, a lot of people are probably just going to take it because it like Laura said, looks cool. Um I, and, I might do that a little too much. Yeah, uh, I've seen Laura's ribbon uh, tie. Um, but, but yeah, having no. them at the summit themselves to give out, I think would be super cool, either buttons or the ribbons, uh, whichever one works. I think I think the pins might be fun because the other thing is that some SIGs might then like have like a decorating party because you can <laughs> decorate those with like sparkle pins. No, I'm actually completely serious. Like... <laughs> Sparkle pens, special stickers. Some people might really go for that. So just a thought. I, I don't know. Like I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I don't <laughs> doubt that they will. Um. So maybe we'd set up a small round with um construction materials. Um, why not? Why not? It's like going back to school. Construction paper, scissors, glue. <laughs> It'd be great. Anyway, I'll stop now. I'll stop derailing the conversation. <laughs> All right. Um. Joseph, you're up. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Sorry about that. Um, hey, I'm coming from you from the hot mountains, all hydrated, and I have power, so I'm with you this week. So glad everybody was patient with me not being there last week. Um, pretty low-key start for, for myself uh, coming off sabbatical, so uh, just confirmed shadows and reviewed uh, the playbook that has been left for me. Uh, there's a couple questions that I did have that I'm going to use an excuse to have lunch with Ray on Friday when he gets back so we can kind of sync up since he's my advisor and kind of uh, clarify just a few items there. Uh, The shadows that I have, I'll be reaching out to them directly this week uh, just to get them to review the playbook and then kind of review our schedule. So kind of a low-key start. I think in earnest, we'll probably really start kicking things off in August. That's the only updates that I have. So grateful to be here with you all. It's good to see you. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, do we have those shadows confirmed in the issue? Um, are they listed I will, under the section in the staff thing? I, I need to add that. I was looking at it last night. I got Xander's one of them, and I'm just double checking one last one who reached out to me, and I will okay. add those in there as my shadows. Um, awesome. And I think we, we only really need two. There may be a third potentially, but it's a pretty, yeah. you know, the, the amount of effort and work that we don't need more than that. Yeah. And, awesome. and I'll say as always, you know, when thinking about how many shadows you're going to have, think about how many people you can legitimately mentor. Mm-hmm. It, it's hard to mentor three people. Yes. Yeah. I've heard this from you before, um, John, and I, and I agree with yeah. you, Josh. <laughs> so I keep saying August it because when... we keep having problems. <laughs> um, in August is when, like, the reach outs begin for each of the six to identify the... Okay, all right, all right. So... Cool. Well, August is next week. Um, August is so. next week. 
um i just was doing the math in my head uh i was like oh wait no we're it's almost august now all right cool 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 cool, cool. don't mind me <laughs> um all right so does anybody have any questions or comments for awards no all right so now we are on the anything else section um, which swag we've talked about ribbons we've talked about does anybody have anything else that they would like to chat about right now um i guess the big question is when do we start hearing from cncf staff because we're waiting for them on a number of things i mean they gave us a lot of updates last week um oh, okay sorry i was out last week yeah yeah uh for those who were not here i would recommend checking out brian's updates from last week um because there was a lot of helpful information that was shared and could potentially answer some of the questions that are up um and yeah oh yes laura question so i i did see in the notes that there was going to be a planning doc that was getting finalized last week and was going to be shared did i miss it getting shared I don't think so because okay. I have Just not seen sure. it. Either. Like that's what I that, that's what <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting for is to see. Yeah, the I saw the notice yeah. last week. Super fair. Yeah. Um, and uh, Kaylin also asked in the group, uh, in the in the channel, if we have um, a folder with all the stuff in it yet. And I was saying that I don't think that I do. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Um, okay. Yeah. Who's who's going to take the two? um who's going to take uh budget questions to bring up so we need to ask her about paying an artist yeah um and do we want to ask her about what ribbons would cost at this point sure i have a feeling that ribbons would be well ribbons in general are pretty cheap but we have whatever it is 50 sigs and an additional yeah. 15 standard yeah. fees I, yeah so, i'd almost lean towards pins just because we already have a lot of the pins and we already have a vendor and everything yeah. for it yeah. it's just getting getting more which we already mm -hmm. are going to do so it's yeah. it's one less moving part is kind of what my brain is thinking yeah. considering and that's so many fair. things going on and but i just we just need to do it but yes yeah. we mm -hmm. need to ask about budget about how expensive is that to get enough pins for everybody based on registration numbers, when can we get those ordered? How late can we get them ordered? Like, can we wait until we close registration and then order the rest of the pins? Yeah. Or is there a date? Like, that's the kind of questions I have is if we want to start doing this, what's our deadlines? What's our budget? What's our, pardon me, what's our information about that for that kind of extra okay. little bit of swag that's a little bit of fun? Okay, should, should given that you're at a conference this week, Nigel, should I take that to Brianne? I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Uh, I'm I'm just yeah. writing the notes down here. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and so you know, like next, yeah, next week is the CNCF all hands, okay. so we won't get any questions answered next week. Awesome. All right. Yeah. No, I'll work on that today. Um, and then, so like, uh, I have in the notes here questions for Brian budget for uh, artists uh, and for buttons and ribbons. Um, what other questions do we uh, have? uh date deadlines for that kind of ordering if we add stuff and um, and deadlines for the more substantial swag so deadlines for um contributor swag and t-shirts and then i'd say the last thing to ask her is just how's that planning doc going just because we can probably figure out the rest of the questions from there it's just if we have that doc we can start working on things because it yeah. probably will tell us a lot of the information we're going to ask her anyway does that make sense? Yep. Yep. That sounds good. I got those things there. Um, and I believe there was uh, some other leads that maybe had a question or two, or unless they're going to follow it up personally, then yeah, please carry on. Um, all right. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Well, for Brianne's sanity, I'd like, you know, like actual requests we make of her, unless she's in the meeting or in the chat channel, right? Like, if we're going to go and email her, they should probably funnel through either me or you, Nigel. Yes. Because if she's getting requests from like 15 different people, it's going to be hard for her to cope. Yeah. No, that's super fair. Um, cool. So if folks have questions, um, Josh and I will liaise to uh, Brian and get those answered for you. All right. Um, 
Great. Anything else? No? All right. Well, thank you all so much for being here this morning. I hope you have a really good week. Um, happy Monday. And I will see you next week. Thanks, Sean. Have fun in Orlando. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>